Hello. So today we're going to talk about uh, labor cost or labor burden cost. Um, so that's a spreadsheet that I built for a client. It was a custom request that I had. Um, I transformed it into a tool, a tool in the spreadsheet that you can use for you. Uh, if you do have any type of request uh, similar to what I'm going to show you, if you want me to build a spreadsheet for you um, in, in different ways, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. But let's jump right into it. So, what shielded labor cost is? Uh, what is a labor the labor cost spreadsheet is? Um, it's pretty much you know we have this uh, beautiful spreadsheet here, beautiful like report of what is the um, the profile like for for each worker what is their uh, burden cost. So let's say that we have John Doe here. Uh, John Doe is a partner in the business. John Doe is uh, um, doing um, about a hundred thousand per year, then you're able to see basically in that worker profile, um, area or worksheet, you're able to see like all of the, like the cost for associated that person. So you're able to see, let's start from the top, the burden breakdown. So total, total hard cost, uh, per year, week, day, hour, and the salary breakdown, uh, for all productive time, for all type of time, for only productive time. Um, and for the yearly wage, and then you're able to see um, the, um, the 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 payroll like with FICA, so like that per year, per week, per day, uh, per hour worked, uh, and then you're able to see the productive time paid. So let's say that they have like the like forty eight hours, um, sorry, forty eight work weeks per year. So I mean four uh, five and, and five work days per week uh, and 10 hours per day. That means that they are um, productive for 2000 to 20 um, hours per, 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 per year. And then total paid hours, 2,400. And then the non-productive times are, are here. So that's pretty much where uh, this, num uh, this number comes from. So basically 2,400 minus 380 equals 2020. And then, yeah, so like these non-productive time are like meetings, education, holidays, vacation, all of that. And like, what is the the, the, the cost or the hard cost per, per year? Um, then you have the expenses summary. Like, is there any additional cost? Is there like related expenses? Um, and then the, uh, the proper breakdown of each other expenses and FICA breakdown, cost per year, cost per worked hours. Um, the beautiful thing of, of this is that you can switch for each worker so that you have Jane Doe, uh, then Jane Doe is a full-time lead, then you have the same data for that Jane Doe. And then um, in the workers uh, record, the way that it works is for each employee, you add the date, you add the name, you add the, the job type. The job type is pulled by this uh, section here, profile settings, um, because you're basically creating profiles for each people. So then you don't have to repeat yourself of what, are, what is the data. So you're able to say, okay, for each partner, the data is this, for each office manager, the data is this, uh, but then the wage and the additional cost can change. But like, that's that's the gist of it. You have the date, the name, um, the profile that is assigned to you, the wage, and then the additional cost. Then talking about the profiles, um, let's go here right away. Um, so you have here, you can create profiles. So if for each profile, you are able to say, okay, what are the week, um, the weekdays per week that you're gonna work, work hours per day, what are their paid holidays, what are the paid vacation, yearly meetings, yearly education, blah, blah, blah. Um, what, are the, what are the additional costs? Um, do they have like any bonus? Do they have any insurance? Do they, do they have like any education? Then they do, what are their like related expenses per, per year? Is that like a truck? Is that an insurance? Is that gas, oil, cell phone, etc.? And once all of that is set, um, it's it's basically you can use this if if I circle back, like you can use these profiles into the worker records, and then all of that information combined of the of those two worksheets is going to be pulled right here. Like that's where you see all of that data here. Um, and then if you want, you can add. Uh, more columns. If you like add a new, if you would be to add a new column here, um, you could do it. But I would, what I would recommend is for you just message me. Uh, what are the type of expenses that you would need to have, uh, or that you 
and then I can just add it. If there's if it's not existent, you can always rename those. But yeah, just let me know. I would be more than happy to um, to create a custom version of this for you. Um, and yeah, then that then the last one is the the, the fika and the payroll and the, with the fika. You basically have the expenses like what is this social security, for example. It's um, six point twenty percent the rate, but then it's capped at um, one hundred ten thousand hundred dollars. <laughs> so that's how it works. You basically have the rate, but then you have the, the cap. So uh, what it will, what it will happen here is that it will tell you it will use it the highest one. Uh, um, is it the percentage or is it a uh, number or the lowest one? Anyway, you get the gist. <laughs> My brain is a bit melted now. Um, I've recorded a lot of videos. Um, so yeah, so that's that's how the this this sheet works. And uh, yeah, if you have any question on that sheet, if you'd like me to do something for you this way, um, something different, I'll be more than happy to have a conversation with you, see how I can help you out. Um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to have your, your comments on that. And uh, looking forward to um, see what you think of this spreadsheet. Comment below what you think. If you need my help, if you have any questions, always here to help. Just feel free to comment and I'll, I'll reply as soon as possible. And we'll talk soon. All right, take care.